Hello everybody, it's Jen Rogers with Art and Whimsy with Jen, and this is Art Tip Tuesday. I hope everyone's having a great day. We are going to work on making some simple trees. I think I'm gonna do three different types of trees. Uh, I'm gonna do a whimsical Christmas type tree. I'm gonna do another uh, pine tree, but a little bit more uh, detailed, and then we will do a regular tree trunk um, so that you can get some ideas on different types of trees you can do. We will be working on a lot of really more detailed trees in some of the paintings that I'll be doing in January and February and through to March. So um, these are just real basics, just so you get an idea that trees are really not that hard to do. Okay, so I am using, once again, a multimedia um, pad. I know I've shown you this before, but um, this is a, 11 by 14 it's got 60 sheets you can use front and back when you're practicing things and then they just really they just rip right out so it's nice and easy so we will start with the tree christmas tree and whatever color you do whenever you're doing a color uh, something and you don't like it it's fine because with acrylic paints you can just go over it you can mix you can blend um, a lot of times I'll use a color like a white just to get an idea of where I want something and that's not going to be what what the color of the finished product is but I'm just using it to get my positioning okay so this is a really simple don't want too much on there um, tree and right now I'm gonna just so I can show you the difference I'm gonna use a couple of different um, brushes this is just an angle brush this is a 3 8 angle brush but you can use pretty much anything to do these, whatever you're the most comfortable with. So this, I'm just gonna come down and make it kind of like a triangle, but like a curvy triangle. And just like that, nice and simple. And then we'll come in a little bit on that triangle. And again, nice and simple. Come in a little bit more on that one and out a little bit farther on the, the ends of the triangle. And just like that. Super simple. And then we can just take, I'll just use the same brush. Clean that off. And we'll do a little bit of brown down here. Now again, if you're doing something whimsical, you probably want it to be not completely like straight. That way it doesn't really have to be perfect. You can, you can make it however you want. You can fill it in. Probably don't need to use an angle brush to fill in, but I have, um, so this is just a regular brown and then I have some um, burnt, I think it is burnt sienna that I'll just kind of mix in to make it Give it a little bit of uh, texture to it and we'll work on shading and everything else going forward but this is just to give you a quick idea of shapes and how you can easily do these um, then obviously you'd want to fill that that tree in you can do it you know the same color you could do a little bit darker uh, if you want it to be a realistic tree. If you don't want it to be a realistic tree, if you want it to be more of a fun, whimsical tree, you can, as you can see, I'm just doing light brush mark um, strokes here. You could even come off of it if you want. If you don't, it depends on if you want how um, whimsical you want it to be. Do you want it to be a slightly more realistic? Then I would just start to come off the edge of it with uh, my strokes here, I'll show you. It's not like we're keeping this, so. So there you go. You can just easily do that and you can do that up here too and it would all kind of blend together. And then you can just go back and forth though with the different colors and, and kind of blend them in. I got a, the little bit of light, the green there and that kind of, that's what ends up making your paintings have the depth and look a little bit more realistic is if you just the blending of the colors it's just kind of fun okay so now if you let's just say okay I don't want it to look that like that I want it to be like super whimsical you can easily do that you can we'll start with the same color I'm just gonna fill in here I 
should have used a smaller brush, but that's all right. In the corners. This is just a flat brush that I'm doing this with. So nice and easy. Um, and the other thing, another trick with paints, if you, they dry, the acrylic paints, if you don't thick, put them on super thick, they dry, they dry pretty quickly. And again, I didn't fill that in completely, but I'm just trying to give you a quick idea. So what you can do, and I didn't squeeze any out, but let's squeeze, well, we'll just do the lighter green. Okay, so I'm gonna take, uh, this one is a number five round. Oh, so I started to say what you can do is you can use a blow dryer, <laughs> sorry, and dry it a little bit faster. This dried really, really fast, so I don't really need to do that. And usually you can work on another part of your painting and come back, so you don't need to use a blow dryer, but if you do. So here, I can just start by doing, oh, you can't really see those. Just hope, oh, I got white. How about we do white? That would make it simpler. Okay. So now that I did a dot, dot, because I don't want them perfect. Now, if you want them more perfect, you can do them with the edge of your, the end of your brush. And that's a little bit more perfect type dots. Now that one didn't work so well. I had too much paint on there. So that's, that's okay though. You can just go back and fix them. That one I can make into a larger one with a different size brush. And so if you have different size brushes, you can make them all different sizes. So you can do that. You could obviously um, make different lines through it, make it striped, you can make them thick, you can make them wiggly, you can make them whatever you want. So again, you could use obviously all different colors, but I just didn't put a whole bunch of reds or anything out because we were doing trees, so I just really had whites. And... So that just gives you a rough idea of different things that you can do to make um, a fun tree, Christmas tree, or just a tree that you have in the landscape. All right. Now we're gonna do like a really, really, really basic tree. Um, that's probably as simple as you can probably get. So we're gonna start with the same color just because. Okay, so just do a straight line down. Doesn't have to be a perfect line, just the line about the size of the tree that you want. Okay, so then make sure you don't have too, too much paint, but again, all we are doing is these. I'm going to out a little bit, a little bit more. This is kind of looking a little bit uh, anorexic. You can probably do out a little bit more, but we're going to add to it. So super basic, super simple. You can make them wider. This is just getting the basics down and the shape of your tree down. So this is gonna be a skinny one because I didn't want to come over too, too far, but I can make it a little bit more. There we go. And if you want it wider, you would just come out a little bit wider. Again, the bottom you can do brown. You could have done the brown. I didn't do brown because I didn't want the colors to mix at this point. But then you would go in and you would just go back over with a different color. You would start to blend it in. You would start to make it, but it's just V's. It's just V's. So it's super simple, super easy. And you just keep coming down and come off of that. And you can do more and make it wider however you want it. So you can start with a really skinny tree. You can make it a thicker tree. You can really do a whole bunch with the different tree. I kind of like this shape because I feel like I can make it 
a bunch of different things, but sometimes you want to have it more like a foresty tree. So this, you could definitely do that. And it really just depends on the size. Oops, see there, I messed that up. And I just come in and fix it. Um, it really just depends on the size of, or the type of tree, sorry, the size that you want on the size that you're going to do. Because you might just really want something that's, so this, here, let's make this one into a tree that you might see in the forest where the branches are a little bit higher up. So then you can just, again, I can fill in a lot more there, but just to give you an idea, we can come down and there you go. So then I always start with the, don't try and make the line too thick. You can come up through it if you want. But. So that's another simple, simple way to do a tree. And these are very, very basic. So now we're going to do a tree and we're gonna actually do a tree that's, oh, I guess I'll use number five. I probably could do a little bit more. That's going to be, you know, a, a normal uh, maple or something that you might find just in your, nor in your backyard that's not a pine. So again, you're gonna start, and this is kind of going to go into the other trees here. You're just gonna start your line down. Okay, I probably could have used, hold on, let me use a thicker brush. Just gotta clean it off. Okay. So we're gonna do our basic. Okay, this is gonna be our basic. So then when you're doing a tree, you want it to come off from the base. So everything I do is going to come off from the base. And you can go back over that. So see how I have that V there? This is probably one of the most important things. You don't want, now I can use a smaller brush. I didn't get enough brushes out. You don't want your tree to just have this arm just sticking out. It has to look like it's actually attached. So you always start in your current branch and branch off. And you can do a lot of branches or a few branches. So this could take quite a while to do. And again, I'm not doing this tutorial to show you shading on these trees. Um, when we do the trees in different paintings, we will come back and we'll shade them. This is just to give you the form, to give you the idea of how you're getting your tree shapes. And we're gonna come from there. Now that came a little thicker than I wanted, but that's okay. Just didn't have enough paint, but that's okay because I'm gonna, I would come back and I would shade it and I would do um, different leaves and stuff like that on the tree, so. You know, see how that one didn't go right all the way in? So there I just fixed it. I didn't come in the way I should have. And so now I was able to blend that back into the branch because you want it to not just be another piece that's sticking out from there. And again, this is kind of like, it reminds me of a moose tree to be honest, but, <laughs> but you're getting the idea um, of the different shapes and you would just add, keep adding branches adding the branches that you want. See, that's a little fat. So then I just blunt that right back into the other branch and it's fine. So obviously this looks a little anorexic down here. Then we'd come back and we'd, I suggest not making it super fat to begin with. I suggest kind of doing your tree and then coming in after and doing 
um, making your trunk a little a little fatter and you're going to want it obviously a little bit fatter down at the bottom and skinnier here so you can kind of taper it so that's just a small tree obviously if it was bigger and you don't have to make them quite as curvy um, but trees obviously in nature they're not going to be all straight So I think you get the idea. You can play around with it. Just something super simple, super easy um, to get those shapes. Now, I guess I could show you a couple. I have green, so let me show you just a couple leaves. And these are going to be, I'm gonna grab another brush. These are gonna be not a normal uh, leaf that you would see like really perfect or anything like that. This is just an easy way to make a leaf and make a whimsical type tree. And you don't really think about it. You just keep going like that. And the more you do this, everything's going to start to fill in. So we're just doing, doing dots. I, I probably sweep too much to begin with. There we go. And you're not like, I'm not being strategic in how I'm doing it. I'm just basically plopping it on. So this is, what size brush? I have a number six straight. Um, and I'm just kind of plopping them on. Plopping them on. And see how I messed up in the beginning. I was, I don't know why I was pulling them, which I shouldn't have. But then I just go right over them. So no biggie. But you can kind of see how this is starting to fill in and how you could do a fall tree, fall colors. You can do, you know, a tree without any leaves as well. But um, I just wanted to kind of show you, I haven't used this olive color. So let's do a few of those. And the best thing to do, like I said, is to not really pay attention to where you're doing them. And it's okay if the colors blend um, and the more you do it will fill in some of your branches which is fine especially if you had like a branch that you didn't love <laughs> but um, you can see start to make a really cute tree a little green there And these are all really wet, so they're really blending together um, a little bit more than probably I want them to. But it was more to give you an idea. Uh, so hopefully that was helpful uh, and you can have some ideas on that. You can totally do this. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can kind of play around and make some cool trees. So hopefully that was helpful and I hope everybody has a really great day. Thanks and I will see you guys soon. Bye.